I remember that back then, this thing was the most astonishing dashboard I ever saw. This is the car in which I managed to own with my first ever racing ground. Homey RV28 was stroke 26. It blew up in the first race. Hello in today's video and as you can see it's gonna be a bit of a bringing back the past because we will be speaking about my 2001 if I'm correct uh, Skyline R34 GTT here it is uh, <laughs> I really like these cars for many reasons uh, one of which is quite obvious it's uh, I think it's a beautiful looking machine simply. It's definitely the one which is impossible to be confused with that it's something else. You see this car and you know that this is a Skyline. And R34 is simply the pinnacle of all the Skylines line, let's say. And uh, for me, this, this machine, uh, it's, uh, it's something very special because this is the car in which I managed to won, win my first ever drifting round. Uh, definitely when I think about this situation, it was in 2014, uh, it's, uh, it's something very special. But, bring back, starting from the beginning, uh, the car was made in 2013, back then it has Tomei RB28, it was stroke 26th, engine back then even in today's standards it will be something really special and back then it was something mind-blowing and yeah it blew up in the first training yeah but the story wasn't over with the rb after that we just put the rb26 internals into the place of the old block and uh, it was the first rb26 and the whole 2013 was the mess because of that engine pretty much it was constantly overheating uh, it has uh, problems with some air bubbles in the coolant so the needle of the coolant was constantly going up and down up and down so the engine was blowing up the coolant everywhere and it was like that through the whole season so after that there was only one decision to make it's too lazy which still yellow <laughs> painting inside it's just a small heritage let's say and not to forget how with what we started and what we have today currently actually so it's 2jz uh, which bought itself producing about 750 700 horsepower and plus nitrous uh, so probably something around 800 so the engine was swapped in 2014 and we also swapped the front suspension because as it is in the Skyline it is uh, multi-wishbone, yeah, multi-wishbone, multi-linkage, yeah, something, yeah, something multi. Uh, so we swapped the front with the S14. So uh, back then it was what we thought the best solution for that car. It was allowed through the, with the rules to have the, such a combination back then. And to be honest, the car works, it drives, in, in, in the case of handling and steering feedback, it's like S14 simply. And that's how it stays to this day, because uh, after the, we modernized it in 2014, uh, we just lightened some parts, make some few modifications, but nothing major. So pretty much it's the 2014 spec, in which I was competing last time in uh, Oman. Yeah, and I managed actually to win the last round in, uh, in 2019, if I'm correct. Yes, I think so. So uh, the car, in, even in 2019, was still capable of doing some, doing great job, good job, by the way. And this thing, this little indicator fell off, I don't know, in 2016 or somewhere like that, and it still stays in place. I don't know how I managed not to crash this headlight, but probably I did and it still was replaced like many 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 times what I don't want to forget definitely was that in uh, 2014 also I managed to score the second place in overall classification of Drift All-Stars which back then was kind of European championship 
And it was also thanks to mainly this machine. So I have uh, many really <laughs> good memories. 2014 is uh, definitely uh, the, the most, the, the year which in, in which this car has the biggest amount of uh, events on its account. But it's still capable of doing great things. Also in this machine, the first time I was in Goodwood and probably yeah, it was 2015. I definitely destroyed this headlight. Maybe I didn't. I will have to check. Yeah, but Goodwood was also a great memory. I remember that. Uh, I managed to, the, to do a really good pass, full throttle on the main straight, yeah, and in the next one, so, <laughs> excellent story. So, uh, also, this was all in a cabin, it was all taking place in the cabin of this machine, so yeah, that was me being foolish again. What left to do is to fire it up and check. How oh, lovely it will be to create some smoke again. Because this what this machine was made to do. But before we fire it up, I should say something about the interior of this car. Yes! Or not. Yes! I remember that back then this thing was the most astonishing dashboard I ever saw. Like multicolors, like stitching everywhere, like it was a uh, oh, supercar build. <laughs> and it's still impressive to be honest, it's still very nice to sit in this car and simply relax for a bit. But enough of that, let's fire it up and create some smoke. Yahoo! Brum, brum, brum. Brum, brum. Oh, keep talking!
Enjoy the, see you in the next one.